Integral 1 over sine x, also known as the integral of cosecant x, might look difficult, but here is a simple way to compute it. So let's start with 1 over sine x dx, and let's use the well-known trigonometric identity to rewrite the denominator in the form of 2 sine x over 2 cosine x over 2 dx. Let's also multiply denominator by additional cosine x over 2 and divide by that addition of cosine over x over 2. So therefore, it becomes sine x over 2 cosine x over 2, and then, of course, cosine squared x over 2. So I didn't change anything. I just played a little trick, dx. OK, so additional point. Let's move this divide by 2 and write it as denominator for dx. So I'm going to do it this way. Move this one and put it here. Great. Now let's make a let's just simply change a variable x over two. Change it to variable u. So our integral becomes integral one over sine x over two cosine divided by cosine x over two is just simply tangent and then tangent u, and this becomes cosine squared u, and of course du. It's also well known that d tangent u is simply 1 over cosine squared u du. And that's nice because we have 1 over cosine squared u du here. So that means we can re rewrite our integral as simple as this. Um, integral 1 over tangent u and then d tangent u. And this is nothing other than as simple as ln, absolute value of tangent u plus c, which now substituting for u as here at equal to x over 2, we have ln, absolute value of tangent x over 2 plus c. That's it. This is the solution for this integral. We solved it. You're done. If you're interested to see alternative way of writing this, as you might see in other sources or literature, then additional uh, solution would be like this. So let's rewrite. Let's rewrite that integral for tangent x over 2. We're going to just use the um, definition sine x over 2 divided by cosine x over 2. Let's, for, for a minute, forget about this plus c, which is just a constant. And I can rewrite this by just multiplying both numerator denominator by 2 sine x. So I get 2 sine squared x over 2. And then denominator become 2 sine x over 2 cosine x over 2. OK, both numerator and denominator can be rewritten using simple trigonometric, trigonometric identities. This one is just as simple as 1 minus cosine x. Denominator is as simple as just sine x. And you're done for the alternative way because 1 over sine x is just cosecant. Minus cosine x over sine x is cotangent. So it's ln cosecant minus cotangent. And of course, that constant c if you like to write. That's it. This is another way of writing the same thing. Uh, a third way, if again you're interested and you might see in literature, would be rather than writing it this way, write it this way. ln cosine x over 2 sine x over 2 inverse. Didn't change anything, just wrote it in another way. So now this to the power minus 1 shows up behind ln, the property of logarithm, so negative ln. And of course, I can play the trick that uh, cosine x over 2 is over sine x over 2. I can multiply numerator denominator by 2 cosine x, so it becomes 2 cosine squared x over 2 divide by 2 cosine x over 2 sine x over 2. And again, same idea. By the way, don't forget about this negative sign here. So negative ln numerator becomes 1 over 1 plus cosine. 
and denominator becomes just sine. Same idea as before. Now, just a negative that we should not forget here. And of course, ln. And we have 1 over sine, which is cosecant. And we have plus cosine over sine, which is cotangent. And your constant, if you want. There you go. This is the third way of writing of writing this integral, the solution for this integral. I hope that this is helpful and basically just indicate that cosecant x minus cotangent of x is 1 over cosecant, uh, cosecant of x plus cotangent of x. And this is what this is effectively indicating.